from the Metropolitan Opera House at Lincoln Center in New York, Texaco presents the Metropolitan Opera Salute to Sir Rudolph Bing. This extraordinary musical event, featuring many of the world's greatest voices, is brought to you by Texaco. <laughs> This truly glamorous evening, a reigning mezzo-soprano star of the Metropolitan for 23 seasons, the foremost carman of her time, the seductive Delilah, Reza Stevens. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight will loom large in the history of music in this country and the world. At the end of the current season, Rudolf Bing will retire as general manager of the Metropolitan Opera. By all odds, the most important and the most demanding job in the world of music. His era will be long remembered. The great artists he introduced, the magnificent productions he mounted, the standards he set and achieved. He is laden with honors. Last year, Queen Elizabeth II bestowed on him the Order of Knighthood. He has been decorated by governments of France, Italy, West Germany, and Austria. But tonight, he gets a tribute which is unique, which he and he only could receive. The salute of the company whose destiny he has guided for 22 years. You don't have to have been a member of the Metropolitan for as long as I was to be convinced that it is the greatest opera company in the whole world. Tonight, 43 of the most shining names on the roster have joined with the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, Chorus, and Ballet to pay tribute their lyric homage to Sir Rudolph and to wish him Godspeed. It is our privilege to bring you the highlights of this historic occasion. Oh, oh, oh. 
Sir Rudolph's first season as general manager, a slip of a girl who had never set foot on an opera stage made a surprise debut, Roberta Peters. Recalling that night some years later, Sir Rudolph said, to be thrown on the stage of the Metropolitan Opera for the first time is a shock few survive. Miss Peters did. With Roberta Peters tonight is a great American artist. The baritone, Cheryl Middlings. I don't think it is stretching it to say he is absolutely sensational. They will sing the duet from the Barber of Seville. James Levine is on the podium. <laughs> Presto, presto, qua il biglietto. Un biglietto? E figaro, vieni qui un momentino. E qua la cura. Già era scritto. Ve che bestia, ve che bestia.
and best fans of the Metropolitan Opera. For the last 32 years, they've sponsored our Saturday matinee radio broadcasts. And tonight, Texaco is making it possible for everyone at home to be here with us for this very special gala event. <laughs> to give you an idea of the array, the wealth of talent on this stage tonight, here is a montage of the first half of the evening. It began with... Stratus. And then Thomas Stewart. Anna Moffa. Ruggiero Raimondi and Paul Fish. Martina Arroyo. Gail Robinson and Cornell McNeil. Dorothy Kirsten. Fernando Corena and Ezio Flagello. Grace Bumble. of Sir Rudolph's first season as general manager of the Metropolitan was Fledermaus. Nobody expected it to be a success. That is, nobody, of course, except Sir Rudolph himself. I know, because I did the part of Olofsky in that production. I would much rather have been doing Carmen or Rosenkavalier, I thought, and even suggested another singer for the part. But Fledermaus turned out to be the outstanding success of the season. Here is Johann Strauss's Acceleration Waltz, which has often been interpolated in the second act of Fledermaus by the Metropolitan Opera Ballet. Zachary Soloff is the choreographer, and Richard Bonning is the conductor.
Take a quick look at the rest of the glittering stars who appeared earlier this evening. Regine Crestan. Lucy Navarro, Enrico Di Giuseppe, Cesare Siepi, Ray Nieve. John McCurdy and Neil Torres. Gabriella Tucci and Irene Dallas. Rosalind Elias. Jerome Hyde. Pilar Lorenda. The soprano Montserrat Cavalier and the tenor Placido Domingo. And they bring us a beautiful moment from Puccini's Manon Lesco. The conductor is Francisco Molinari Pradelli.
their 25th anniversaries the leading artists of the Metropolitan and tonight they are going to do a duet that they've sung together very often at the Opera House from the third act of Verdi's Forza del Destino Maestro Molinari Pradelli is again the conductor Oh, I'm a 
piede tostello, ho provato, ho costato, ma so splendere più che gemma, sangue di letto, ma è la gola voi mentite, a me un grande, a me, grande, grande, mentite, grande, program, I'd like to pause a brief moment to introduce you to this evening's guest of honor, Sir Rudolph Bing. Thank you, Jose Stevens. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. All the artists appearing on this evening's gala concert have performed on Texaco's Saturday afternoon radio broadcasts, and on occasion you may have even listened to me too. No other opera house in the world can boast having regular live broadcasts as we do here at the Metropolitan Opera. And there is no doubt in my mind that many of you have made your acquaintance with opera and realized a love for opera through our Saturday afternoon matinees. Europe has hundreds of opera houses for its opera lovers, but we here have Texaco. Our Saturday matinees reach millions of Americans who have never seen the inside of an opera house. For 32 years, Texaco has sponsored our broadcasts, and in those 32 years, hundreds of opera workshops and opera companies from Hartford, Connecticut to Seattle, Washington have come into being and flourished due in large measure to the audiences we have created together. I wonder, if Texaco had any idea that its first radio broadcast in 1940 was to become the longest sponsored program in radio or television history, and for opera, believe it or not. So, on behalf of the entire company, I thank Texaco for the pioneering spirit that has made so much possible, and especially for the unique association between industry and the arts during these 32 years. Thank you, Sir Rudolph. The Medal of Freedom is the highest honor this country has to give. When President Johnson conferred it on Leontine Price, he said her singing has brought light to her land. He might have added, and to the whole world. Tonight we hear Miss Price in the touching aria from Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro, Dove Sono.
last new production at the Metropolitan is Otello, and it is a triumph. James McCracken sang the title role to great, great success. Tonight, he sings an aria from an earlier Verdi work, Di Quella Pira, from Il Trovatore. This passage has often been cited as an example of what makes opera the unique art it is, where music is the language of the emotions. Here is James McCracken. The Metropolitan Opera Chorus and Orchestra are under Kurt Adler. and Franco Corelli. But now, on behalf of tonight's performers, I want to thank Texaco for sponsoring this special gala event, as well as for the Saturday matinee radio broadcasts that have helped make our voices known to opera lovers across the country. Gara sang Desdemona in the Metropolitan's brilliant new production of Ortello this season. Her partner in the love duet is Franco Corelli. Six feet two, and so is every note he sings. So far, he's not undertaken the role of the tragic Moor in the Opera House, but he will be a great Ortello when he decides the time is right. Carl Byrne is on the podium as he was for the first performance of the Kenton production.
dry, bearded Nielsen. The New York Times called her an empress in her field. There have been many empresses before, but none like Nielsen. Her career has been a succession of triumphs. Isolde, Turando, Brunhilde, Elektra, and Salome, in which we are going to hear her tonight. This is the final scene of the opera. Salome's apostrophe to the severed head of John the Baptist. Music of shattering intensity and power, and strangely pitiful. Dr. Byrne, who has often conducted Salome with Madame Nielsen, is here at the Metropolitan and on the podium.
this great and glorious celebration, Rudolph Bing. The entire company is on stage to greet him, and here they are, Mr. Lowell Wadman and Sir Rudolph Bing. Texaco's 33rd year of Saturday radio broadcast of the Metropolitan Opera.